Your beliefs form reality, your individual beliefs and your joint beliefs. And if you believe, in very simple terms, that people mean you well and will treat you kindly, they will. And if you believe that the world is against you, then so it will be in your experience. And if you believe that you will begin to deteriorate at 22, then so you shall. And if you believe that you are poor and always will be, then so your experience will so prove to you. Your beliefs meet you in the face when you look in the mirror. They form your image. You cannot escape your beliefs. They are, however, the method by which you create your experience. When I speak to you about beliefs, you think of negative beliefs. You see, the very joy of your being speaks of your positive beliefs. So, I did not mean you to concentrate upon the negative beliefs that you have with that in mind. I want you to see where your beliefs conflict with each other. I want you to examine, for the first time in this life, your conscious mind and its content. You all pride yourselves on being conscious creatures. Then I am telling you to be aware of the contents of your conscious mind. A simple enough request. You are only now beginning to know how loaded it is. It is all available. The beliefs are not buried, unless you believe that they are. The thoughts and feelings and emotions that guide you are not lost in a dark closet of your mind, but quite there if you are willing simply to look. It is all available, and in its own way, it is all creative and it is all constructive, and it is all there for you to see, and use, and recognize. Now I have said this in my book, but I have only begun to say it. The hobble goblins are not down deep in the unconscious. You do not have to play hide and seek with psychologists to find they are not buried in your past in this life, or in any other life. You are not bound by promises given, you are not bound by false beliefs. You are free conscious beings, and so, hopefully, you will learn how to be joyful conscious beings. And when you are, then you will not be afraid of the inner self, and you will freely let in data from the outside world and the inside world, being quite secure in your position. It is important that you here realize that you are not at the mercy of the unexplainable, that you are not at the mercy of events over which you have no control, whether those events are psychological events or physical ones in your terms. As I have told you, there is little difference if you believe that your present life is caused by incidents in your early infancy or caused by past lives over which equally you feel you have no control. Your events, your lives, your experiences, are caused by your present beliefs. Change the beliefs and your life changes.